No, it's cucumber. Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. Thanks for helping me. Oh, yeah, did you? When is the Akira vid expected? 16th, right? You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? I, I wasn't Someone until was recently, you? to be honest. Tomorrow, I did spot a few errors. Okay. It was my choice. For a common lad like me, it's the easiest way to get an education and do something worthwhile with my life. It looks like we're both here for the same reason. I think we'll get along. So Would I'll go back and fix them and wait a few hours. Okay. I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite unexpected. Let's go then. Good. But before we do, here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening, so you know how things work. Right, we can go now. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. Remember one word, discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. Damn, the performance is tanked in here. What's going on? Whoa, 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 what is going on? The frame rate just dipped to nothing in this. There we this go. Is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. It takes a bit of getting used to. Ooh, that second person, fam. Who that second person? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. It occurred to me you might be the man to ask. I'm looking for some lockpicks. Do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me? Lockpicks? You surprised me, brother. And you, a nobleman's son. I did hear about his anime. It was useful for finding some titles I can't find on streaming services, yeah. Dude, why is the frame rate tanking in this section? Hasn't done that before. <clears throat> Here are the Fratery and Scriptorium, together with the Library. These are the places where we work. Ora et Labora. Pray and work. Ora et As a Labora. Novice, you must Pray always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the Prior and the Circators, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Oh shit, I get canes. Grown men getting caned, yeah? <laughs> Christian the monks were something else fine. This is the refectory where we come together to eat. During meals you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of Saint Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. But I've already yeah, told nobody you cares about these fucking services. They're never going to signpost a good anime. At least the ones really worth watching. The library. The pride of our monastery. A trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. 
you too will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty, but tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We will be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me Lucas. around. There's a lot to learn here. Will you tell me something about yourself? There's not much to tell. I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother, and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. I need to make a confession. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Crunchy were good for that at least. Tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? Someone whose job it is to investigate the case, find the perpetrators, and make sure they get the punishment they deserve. Punishment? Do you intend to punish them here, in the monastery? I don't know yet. I'm still just on their trail. Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. And all the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices, but still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. And you're right that it could be any one of them. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy worm. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous rat who'd do anything to get in someone's good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof since chills up my spine. Wow, now you're chatting, back, chatting shit about your maths. Maybe you're right. It's not a pretty thought. Thanks for your help, and please don't say a word to anyone. Don't fret, my friend. Your secrets are locked inside my lips. in heaven what have you done now mother of god what are you doing you wretch no 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 don't 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 i think you might be him are you running to van go go dude Oh, oh, for goodness sake, um, I need to. I went to the library, the errand I had to run, which I had to schedule, pick up times, and picked up some comics and manga to keep me busy. What comics and manga did you pick up, Gio? Anything good? Nostradamus. Welcome, brother. I am Antonio, a novice like you. All right, I did this. Thank you don't know Latin, do you? Being here in the monastery is my Comics are country. Watchmen, Being before Watchmen, Umbrella Academy. Nice. You want to so really exciting. enjoy Watchmen. <laughs> well, before Watchmen's hit and miss. I'm curious if you'll still be singing the same tune in a month's time. Would you tell me something about it? Let's get...
Dra Dragon Ball, really? Sailor Moon in manga, okay. Why those ones? Why, n why nothing more niche? Something that you might not have read otherwise. This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. Takes a bit of getting used to. Antonius. What a name. This is the garden. A place for silent contemplation and meditation. Okay. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, Saint Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> so beware. All oh, right. Okay. Make, yeah, it makes sense. I'm guessing they're not too dissimilar. Scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. Inuyasha because the anime is inconsistent and adapting, okay. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts... Dude, what is this guy doing, man? But I've already told you about the circuitors. The hell is this guy doing? His AI is completely bugged out. I'd like to ask you something. Are there any rifts? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot. Faithful to Mango, but the final act rushed the remainder that was Strange previously number. unadapted. Okay. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would you choose as a new abbot if you could? Why should I even think about that when I don't have the right to vote? Gregor, don't go poking your nose into other people's business. You'll sleep better at night. Dude, where the fuck has he gone? I don't want to still be showing you around at midnight. Yeah, get the spiel, fam. The pride of our monastery. A trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You, too, will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Nice monster. Oh, monster must have been a feat, man. It's a big, a big manga. Here. You read it in scanlation or physical manga? Will you tell me something?
physical live event too nice they had they had all of them available right no missing volumes or anything praise be to christ brother i'm gregor a novice i know but i've no time for idle chat i transcribe books from dawn till dusk I've been doing it for years, and I'll be doing it till the day I die. What, you do nothing else? It is my penance and my blessing. And now, brother, if you don't mind, I'd like to get this page finished. Worst ways to spend the rest of your life, huh? The forbidden books must be in that book. Oh, lineage elite and former alchemist, nice. Forbidden. Written by the devil himself. Forget about them. Dude, they could get some lights on up in there, man. Seriously. If I ever met Hiromi Hiromu Hak Arakawa at Sakura Con, if I would have her to my first, first and final volumes, nice. I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. I have no idea. Why don't you ask Brother Librarian? I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? I need to get some wine. If you're not the only one. But I have to keep records of all the casks and the prior checks on them. If you notice any loss straight away. Just like our food, everything's rationed. So I'm sorry, but I'll have to disappoint you, brother. I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks? And what would you like those for? Oh, my speech here. What's it to you? Do you have some or not? Peace, brother. There's no need to get all worked up. So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lockpicks left. Yeah. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Interesting. It's that touching, is it? Touching? More like infuriating. A horrible, abominable waste of parchment. Young people have no res. Greg, talk to me. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. What can you tell me about the novices here? What can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic yeah. life. After it's a year, poetic, you can yeah. make your vows and become a fully fledged brother. I meant something specific about the brothers that are here. But you know them yourself. Yodok is an odd one, but he's diligent and eager. Perhaps too eager. Siskin is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Antonius is hard-working and will help with anything, but prays less than he ought. Lucas is as quiet as a mouse, and no one knows much about him. And then we have you, about who I know nothing. It's always the quiet ones you gotta watch out for.
Who would you like to be the new abbot? John, there's no other candidate. Nevelus just babbles on and on. Don't take him seriously. Lucas, because the logo was in those colours. Uh, and we even had the volume signature in red and the final volume in silver, just to make it more significant because the logo, yeah, that's true. Very true. Talk to me, brother. Talk to me, brother. It's too dark in here, for goodness sake. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Nevelus, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Is there any way I could help you get elected? Somehow tip the scales in your favor? What would you like to do? Climb up the tower and shout, Vote for Nevelus! Vote for Nevelus! Not exactly. You do have an opponent. John. John isn't my opponent. He's my brother. Just like you and everyone else here. We're all brothers in Christ. But there is something you could help me with. You must know there's a great deal of iniquity here in the monastery. I'd be interested to hear of anything I don't know about. Should I find out for you what's going on around here? Let me make this clear. I want to base Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's not like you could do a compilation board. manga. It'd if be too big. Know exactly what's wrong. Then my promises are just empty slogans. Very good then. I'll find out what I can. Thank you, brother. My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. But are you here of your own free will, or is this a punishment? Although it's not important. Welcome to Purgatory. <coughs> Do you say Purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. I'd be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Tell me about Antonius. Oh, if there was a monk I'd recommend as a friend, with of course the exception of myself, it would be Antonius. He has a calm soul, he's easy to talk to, and you can always rely on him. That's all. Thanks. Who would you elect, Abbot, if you could? Most likely Nevlas. He's a fine fellow and he seems honest. But, truth be told, it doesn't matter much to me. The monastery will still be a monastery, no matter who's in charge. If you really want to talk more about it, ask Antonius. He seems to have taken an interest. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Tarantine is fucking huge deluxe edition. I don't like how the pages shimmer from light, really. They shimmer. What the fuck? Well, that's all. Thanks for your time, brother. Dude, the fucking performance of this game just tanked here, man. The fuck is going on? Look what I've got for you. their superiors to chase around after them finishing what they don't Did you have to 
weird other novice is that oh I know compilation models are more affordable but if the manga is so damn good I would be willing to fork over a little more yeah I'd like to ask you something Dude, give me a torch, it's too dark in here. Fucking hell, where do I get torch? What is this? What the hell is this? Just have more variety of volumes, cover artwork and better paper quality. Yeah, paper quality goes a long way. Honestly. I don't like the pages too white sometimes. Villain Saga, however, only has two volumes per volume, and the U.S. And perhaps other regions. Yeah, they don't—they don't go all out. They don't sp go out all out on the volumes when they compile them. Where's Lucas from? Talk to me, you fucking dick. Talking to you. I'm Gregor. That I can live with if it's the only option. The ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are? Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. If you could. That's why you see Villain Saga, Book One, and so on instead of volume. Somebody gifted me one of the volumes. Volume 14. He often talks about her, and I'm sure he has an opinion. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. What can you tell me about Siskin? Not a lot. I don't know him. Actually, I don't know much about him at all. Except that he's not a stickler for rules. Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. I've never asked about him. You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone. Yet. Will you tell me something about yourself? Guy, there's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Oh, come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. I'd like to ask you something. Well, that's all. Yeah, this guy's a bit sh sketchy. Everyone's complaining on the forums. I've gotten to the monastery section. It's far too dark. 
I can't see shit. That's true. There needs to be a torch in this section, man. <laughs> well, the Steam community is complaining about the same thing. What do you mean my daily schedule? Dude, this is such a there's no reason I can't play this level. This is pretty un, this is practically unplayable. What troubles you? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Please be with me, brother. Are there ever any disagreements between the brothers? Unfortunately, yes. The biggest quarrels right now are about the election of the new abbot. They can already see poor Peter in his grave. Tell me something about electing the abbot. The old abbot is practically on his deathbed. There are two candidates. Half the monastery wants John, the other half Nevelas. And there's no chance they'll come to an agreement. But you've probably already noticed the atmosphere around here. Why does it matter so much who wins? Because the future direction of the monastery hangs in the balance. The younger brothers feel they have to work more than their superior brothers and that some brothers are more concerned with their own comfort than with worshipping God. The older brothers take a different view. They say the younger monks want privileges they haven't earned and each side has its own candidate. I'll say one thing. You've seen us drinking here. So either join in or swear you won't tell a soul. You wouldn't want to end up like Lucas now, would you? Lucas? Alright. I wouldn't mind some wine. That's more like it. Sit down and have a drink, my lad. What's going on here? Lucas. Interesting, interesting. The plot thickens, fam. We were too optimistic. They've been lying to us about Corona, man. Say one thing, brother. This wine would grace the Pope's table. I'm not so sure. It's a bit sour. Who what's in it? Don't be absurd. It's a first-class cast, direct from Znoimo. No, I know the taste of a good vintage, and this isn't it. I bet you that lecky young. What is it, brother? What are you doing? What does it look like? 
drinking. But we're all monks. Youngster, when you're as old as I, you'll understand. But you're the cicators. You're the ones meant to be keeping order here. How can gambling and drinking be a fitting part of a monk's life? If you really want to know, see for yourself. All right, have it your way. Praise be to Christ, brother. You mentioned Yodok. What does he do for you? Well, nothing much. He's just a little suckling like you. He will do whatever it takes to stay on our good side. Sometimes we make use of him when there are errands to run. Where did you get the wine from? I thought the monastery sellers were guarded. So they are. But this wine isn't from the monastery. Listen, lad, would you help us out with something? This cask is almost empty and we need a new one. And we're a bit old for such exertions, but you, on the other hand... I'll help you. What do I need to do? Ha! I knew it! Help Novice Yorick arrange for a new cask. Talk to him first thing in the morning, and by tomorrow night, the cask can be on the table. All right, I'll talk to him. I'd like to ask... What can you tell me about... Well, what can I say? You're here to demonstrate. I meant something specific. But you know them yourself. Yorick is an odd one. Antonio. Let's drink. That's the idea. And what should we drink to? How about to the abbot? To the abbot it is. But wait a minute, lamb. Which one? To which one? Uh, to Peter. He's the one that's dying. To Peter. So, to Peter. He's done so much for us, but his time is at hand. To his immortal soul. Let's play! Just the man we've been waiting for, my friend. So, let's play! Where the geo man with my peeps gone man? Everyone fucking dead today.
put us on Discord. Fuck. right off There we go, let there be light fam, let there be light. This game, man, does not run, man.
Giovanni da Giovanni. What is that? What is that? What is that? Where did you get it? Where did you get it? Yeah, I don't know what it is with this fucking game, man. to my fucking duties, man. There, there's no reason for this part of the game to run like this, unless there's a technical reason. Same mass fam. I guess I gotta act the part then, act like a monk, just stand here, fuck, you know, this is so, <laughs> being a monk is so boring, fam.
This is not a good time for questions, brother. You're the one bopping off, huh? I had other affairs that needed to be attended to immediately. It will never happen again. Really? This time I'll look the other way. But next time you won't get out of being punished. I'm Gregor and I'm new here. I know. I saw you in the church during the ceremony. I have a feeling we'll be meeting again soon. And often. You see, I'm a circator. What does that mean? He came there. I'm sure everyone observes the rule as they work and that everything is the way it should be. And when it's not the way it should be? But then we're authorized to mete out punishment. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Where's this motherfucker that's supposed to send me log picks, man? Talk to me, brother. In the night, I saw the brother Cicatus drinking, playing dice. And why aren't you spending your night sleeping instead of creeping around spying on your brothers? I only wanted to. I know, brother. I know. But you need to understand that novices shouldn't be poking their noses into the affairs of elder brothers. Even if something inappropriate was going on? Even then, I'm afraid. Who are you compared with them? Wait till you know what's what. And in the meantime, keep your head down and do what you're told. Life in a monastery is much like life outside in many ways. The monastery walls don't keep out human pride and hatred. Really? I thought monks were above that sort of human folly. They became monks, Gregor, but that didn't stop them being men. Be on your guard as much as you ever were outside. Lies, jealousy, vengeance. They can hurt you here as much as anywhere. Thanks for the advice. Although I don't know if I can follow it. That's up to you, brother. Up to you, brother. Dude, this... this section is unplayable right now man I don't know why it's this choppy this is like who the fuck optimized this man this game even in the open world doesn't run like this what do you mean neglecting my duties man what are you on about As soon as I entered this room, it started running fine again. Remembering the fate of Heli, the priest of silence. 
In the middle of the night. How marvelous! Did you join in? Siski, I thought it wasn't allowed. If the circators can, we all can. I know. A double standard. I said, Brother, where were you during Mass? Don't tell me you didn't know that Holy Mass is the foundation on which your life. I was there, you fucking retard. I definitely was there. I did come a little late, so perhaps no one noticed me. Brother. Save your excuses for I was fucking there, you fucking retard. first warning. Don't do it again. I was fucking there. I was that massy fucking retard. Get the fuck out of my way, you fucking pencil pushers. Greetings, brother. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok. Trouble. You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I was talking last night with the brother Circators. Hey, what? I'd like to help you. What? 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 To get hold of the wine, we'll have to leave the monastery. If wine started going missing here, someone would notice. But to leave the monastery, we need the keys. And only the prior has those. Wait a moment. Are you saying I'm supposed to steal the prior's keys so I can go and steal wine somewhere else? Well, you see why I don't want to do it myself now, do you? I don't have what it takes. I, I can't get those keys, but you could. Or, or you might be able to pick the locks. But you've done it once before, haven't you? Last time, the prior was sick. And he left the monastery keys in the circator's care. So they unlock the gates for me. This time we'll have to steal the keys. How can I get hold of the keys, do you think? I don't know. But it might be possible to do this without them. Brother Solarius, the cellar keeper, used to be a burglar. He knows his way around locks, and, and maybe he could help us. If you could find a way to arrange it. Do you think he'll want to take part in theft? No. But he could give some advice. Or maybe get some lock. If you think. Once you have the key or some lock picks, come and. It's hilarious, man. In the night, I overheard the cicators in the cellar. They were talking about you. Oh, no. So it's still not over. This isn't a life in service of God. This is purgatory. Lucas, what's going on? What do you think? Just like you, I saw the circators drinking and playing hazard as if they were in a brothel. We should report them. I agree. I warned them if they didn't stop, I'd go and tell the prior. But instead of mending their ways, they vented their anger on me. You've picked the wrong people to make enemies of, Lucas, he told me. No, I can't even count how many days and nights I've spent locked up in solitary confinement for the tiniest offenses, or for no offense at all. Is there something I can do to help? Would you? I think all it might take is for you to go and sit down with me, have a talk, set things straight, then they'd leave me alone. I'm afraid even this path leads nowhere. Yeah, I'll take them on, fuck them, fuck them. I'm not afraid of them. 
Brother, you have the courage I lack. May the grace of God be upon you. Will you tell me, guy? I mean, where are you from? I'm a not. I don't know who I can can even trust. Yeah. For if the disciple obeyed with the ill will of Hermes, not necessarily with his lips, but simply in his heart, and even though he fulfilled. Where the hell is this fucking brother Sedarius, man? So it's the do well, the yes. He should show them all that mm, is good and it won't be easy. I can tell you that straight off. Even more by his words, expounding the Lord's commandments and words. How could I get hold of them with great difficulty? Could you take the rob the, the prior? You wouldn't be doing it for then. What could you possibly pay? I'm done with my head. How much would you want? A princely sum, brother. This is no trifling matter. That much? Where am I supposed to find that much coin? No one here has any money. Precisely. At no groschen, no theft. Dude, he's selling them for 16. Oh, for fuck's sake. I gotta sell him food. Point. Seriously? Damn. Uh -huh. Gregor, talk to me. Yeah, how long is it? How long is your video? Must be an hour. Pretty interesting. Very well, I agree. The rule of Saint Benedict, reading from the spirit of time. Really run time, I keep an element of surprise regarding that. Okay. Talk to me. 
I've discovered something about the wrongs being committed here. I see. Tell me more. The older brothers are picking on novice Lucas, punishing him when he doesn't deserve it and humiliating him. It seems that now even brothers can't avoid worldly evil. Thank you for the information, and if you can, stand up for him. The older brothers are also out to get me. Any action I take, they'll try to use against me. The circators go into the cellar at night to drink wine. I thought so. John always reeks of it. And he wants to be abbot. Hypocrite. Perhaps if you told the prior, that would clip John's wings. Brother Yodok has been stealing wine for the circators so they can drink. Yodok? Well, that little rat showed his true colours. Do you know where he's stealing it from? I don't know, unfortunately. No matter. You've brought me important information. That's all I know. If you find out anything else, come to me. I'd be interested to hear it. Is there anything I could help with? You know, there is. Perhaps you've heard that Abbot Peter is gravely ill. I'm interested in medicine, and I know there's a cure for the Abbot's ailment. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. What do you say? What do you need me for? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. Now you know, most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God, and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses, but also the medicine to cure them, then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Why can't you do it yourself? Because I am one of the highest ranking monks here, and one day I'd like to become abbot. Can you imagine me crawling around in the black of night searching for a forbidden book? You could just ask for it. Do you honestly think I haven't tried? Unfortunately, Librarian Cyril is a stubborn ass. I'm ready. One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, you'll need to go at night. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. They say Brother Solarius understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to make Peter's medicine. We'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. Libri Prohibiti. What kind of fucking name is that? What do you desire, Brother Gregory? You have some interesting skills for a monk. What's there to tell? We were all young and foolish once. I was a student in Prague, completely broke, living from hand to mouth and studying all day. It wasn't an easy life. So you turned to stealing? I set about securing a livelihood as best I could. A goose? Some new shoes, a bit of coin to spend with my friends. Without that little bit extra, I'd never have completed my studies. I would have turned into a beggar. And who else do you know that can say he's serving God thanks to having been a thief? No one, brother. Thank you for telling me your story. get a fucking lockpick.
Man, I might as well pickpocket some more from the f canteen, fam. Brother, what are you doing here? I was feeling a bit queasy. Really? I'll pretend nothing happened. I need to tell you about Brother Neblis's transgressions. Well, well, well. The Honourable Brother Neblis has broken the rules. He wanted me to steal a forbidden book. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. I would be abbot enticing... He said he wanted to find a cure for the abbot in it. Hmm. Just keep that to yourself. The important part. Thank you. Your honesty. Brother. Fuck off. I'm gonna knock this guy out. You should know that as a Christian and so. I've had enough of this. You'll never put me in seclusion. You dare resist punishment? Let me remind you, brother, you will suffer the consequences of your deeds. Yes, brother. That's... I'm resisting punishment. I've had it up to my neck with you, your monastery, and your bullshit. Do your damnedest. You failed to complete your trial period as a novice. You are hereby banished from the Order of Saint Benedict. Be gone at once. Oh, fuck off. Kidding me? No, I'm loading again. Damn Giovanni, never become a monk, fam. Never become a monk. This is the bullshit you got to deal with. Silence, even from good things. Here, the prophet shows that if the spirit of silence <coughs> ought to lead us at times to refrain even from good speech, so much the more ought the punishment for sin make us avoid evil words. Therefore, since this spirit of silence is so important, permission to speak could rarely be granted even to perfect disciples, even though it be for good, holy, edifying, and sick. For it is written, in much speaking, you will not escape sin. And in another place, Mother of God, what are you doing? What's the meaning of this? Rich. Have you been possessed by an evil spirit? Shut the fuck up. The disciples are to be silent. Listen. For that reason, if anything has to be asked of the superior, it should be asked with all the humility and submission inspired by reverence. But as for coarse jests and idle words or words that lose the laughter, these we condemn everywhere with a perpetual ban. And for such conversations, do not submit a disciple to open his mouth. The rule of Saint Benedict. Readings on the abbot. Therefore, when anyone receives the name of abbot, he ought to govern his disciples with a twofold. The rule of Saint Benedict. The rule of Saint Benedict. Brother. Brother. Stealing is a sin. You should know that as a Christian. And certainly. God, I can't put up with these fucking rules no more, man. I couldn't. Very well, brother. Now, 
Show me what you have on you. What are you up to right now, though, Gio? That Giovanni, that Giovanni. Giovanni Moorhead, that Giovanni Moorhead. Eating dinner, nice. What are you eating? What's for, what's for dinner? What's for dinner, fam? for dinner <laughs> we're, we're getting university results downgraded here in the UK for some dumb reason it's a fucking scandal man Peppers, nice, nice. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. About those keys. Did you get them? Keys? Oh, at least lockpicks. Not yet. Well, hurry up then. You don't. Can you tell me something about yourself? I would if there was anything noteworthy to say. But I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner. Now a monk. There's nothing in my past, present, or future that anyone could find interesting. Why did you join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As the youngest son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate. But he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and send me here. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. It's better than looking out manure. I know it is. Listen, there's something I ought to tell you. There's a dangerous criminal hiding in the monastery, and I came here to look for him. Ha! I knew it! He's a villain! Who are you, though? Oh, it's better not to ask, isn't it? It's always safer not to ask. Never mind. Who's a villain? That's Siskin. I always thought he was an odd one, the way he carries on. But now it makes perfect sense. He's a criminal fleeing justice. What are you talking about? You clearly know something I don't. I'm telling you, keep your eye on him. He's no monk. That's what my gut tells me. And my gut's never wrong. What are you going to do to that fellow once you find him? I don't know yet. Two people in the chat right now. Who that person that just bounced in from? Not acts on your own. Siskin. Readings on the app. Therefore, when anyone 
receives the name of Abbot. What do you desire, Brother Gregor? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also, because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flaska Padlovic? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, a lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. They must have realized you robbed them. I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg arms by the city gate. I had one choice. Oh, that tossy, that tossy. Get rid of me while he's still alive. He has arrived. What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot headed brothers move off of him. Nah, nah. <laughs> far, far away from here. I mean, I'm only an hour and a half in. Might go for another hour. That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself, especially the part about the coin. I'm still curious about this treasure trove of yours. It's no big deal. And you just left, really, literally it? just before you came? I just go and read during services. There's no time otherwise. I mean, at other times, I don't get to read what I like. And I keep it under the slab so the others don't find it. What kind of a book is it? I found it here in the library. It was on a shelf where it should never have been. So I hid it to read later. It's yeah. the Necronomicon. Best time to play games. Ghosts, demons and invocations of powers beyond our world. Only it's written in a strange language that I can't really make sense of. Or bara this and bara that. Who knows what it means? I tried to count the syllables. Read the words backwards, but nothing. I'm not getting anywhere with it. Oh, I'm not too sure what the prior or the cicada would say about a book like that. Actually, what anyone would say. It sounds quite prohibited. Ah, prejudice. But you're right, it is prohibited. For no good reason, though. Has knowledge ever done anybody any harm? You're right. Knowledge should never be prohibited. Oh, I'm glad you you gotta use the helmet more. Nah, I'm a monk now. They've taken everything away from me. I have to find somebody. I figure out their identity. And I have to either kill him or rescue him. If the brothers learn that I took it from the library and hid it, I'll be in a lot of trouble. Our brothers' minds are closed to a thirst for knowledge. I'll leave you be. Don't worry. I won't follow you again. Thank you. And please, Gregor, don't mention it to anyone. How is it that you don't get any penance from Yeah, they, they, I've stashed it away somewhere till I leave this monastery, but for now I'm stuck in this monastery. Yeah. The story forced me to be in this place here. Yeah.
I'm still curious about this now they didn't steal it I had to relinquish it and keep it locked away before I came into the chest That's secret stuff, more in hiding all his loot. What do you desire? Well, maybe you're the one I'm looking for. Me? A criminal? Look at me. How could I be? No, my friend, you're accusing the wrong man. If you want my advice, the oddest one around is Siskin. That fellow was never meant to be a monk. He's hiding something from us. You're most likely right. Oh, well, I should say so. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell which one of these it is, man. It's fucking getting shady, which one of these... What is it, brother? I'd like to ask... Well, that's all. Italian on your couch? Yeah, Italian on my couch. Dali couch. That Dali couch. Will you tell me something? Guy. There. I mean, where you're from. What? I'm a... You see, I'm looking for someone here. You're looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice. At least until I find the man I'm looking for. Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't valid here. In the cloister, we're subject to divine law, the law of the church. I'm looking for a footpad who's hiding out here in the monastery. He had a hand in raising the Neuhof farm. He's taken many lives. Yeah, sinking in. I'm so tired, man. It's been hot the last couple of days. Why are you telling me all this? Because you could help me. There has to be one of the other novices. That can't be. Have you told the prior? What are you going to do to this man once you find him? Talk to him. Then I'll see. Do you have any idea which of the novices could be the imposter I'm looking for? I don't know. And I don't care to know. I wish you'd never told me. Now I won't be able to sleep at night. In the night, I had this conversation. Mark and the. Which I. Is it? Swamikans, yeah. Brother Sir my friend. What would you like to be relieved from duties? Passed away, no, I saw on Twitter. Fuck it, now. I've heard there's some discord. But they're not immortal. Only People got passed away sometime, I guess. To our nighttime fun. So we're letting him know who's in charge here. I'd appreciate it if you treat him like a brother again. Well, if he isn't afraid of us, there's nothing to stop him ratting us out. But what do you care anyway? Fourteen, okay. He hates you because you trample all over him and he has nothing to lose. If you show him just a bit of kindness, you'll think <laughs> again. So yeah. We'll Fine, you've convinced me. You can tell him things have been straightened out, but he'd better be on his best behaviour from now on. Beware of Lucas. He might corrupt you. What do you mean? He's a sodomite, a sinner. He might try to get you into the habit. Oh shit, he's a f all out of it. <laughs> I didn't know that. Thanks for the warning. 
But yeah, he knew that already. It's crazy. Because I'm illegal, I call police, yeah. I spoke to the cicadas about how they've been treating you. Really? Did you manage to convince them to leave me alone? But you have to promise not to tell anyone what you saw them doing. Then they'll leave you alone. That's a promise I'd be glad to make. I'm forever in your debt, brother. Because now I know I can trust you. There's something I want to tell you. It's about Brother Antonius. I wouldn't like to say something that isn't true. God forbid I should cause harm by my words, but this is something I'm sure of. Novice Antonius is lying to us. What makes you say that? He claims he's a merchant's son from Vlashek, and that he joined the Order voluntarily. The thing is, I spent a great deal of time in Vlashek. I know it like the back of my hand. And no one even remotely like Antonius has ever lived there. Are you sure? Because this could mean that... It's true. A Canute isn't my name. That would be my secular name, by the way, but that's Canute. not important. I know Russia. And I know the local merchants there. And I've never Nah, Bond never went to fam. Why would he be lying if he had nothing to hide? Might do Kingdom Hearts 3, though. We'll look into it. Yeah, Novice Antonius is lying. I think I found my guy. I found my, I found my guy. Motherfucker be lying, fam. I've heard you're from Vlashin. Yes, why do you ask? And more importantly, where did you hear it? Since I'm quite sure I've never told you. Kingdom it's come deliverance, like all the kingdoms here. Wives at the market. Because I've heard otherwise. You aren't from Vlashin. You made it all up. And who told you that? Whoever it was, he's a liar. It's complete nonsense. I'd like to ask you something. I've heard that you. Um, I need to convince these fuckers to tell the truth, fam. Huh? How do you know that? The Cicatus told me. They'll never leave me in peace. You gotta tell me the truth yes. now, man. You can call me a sodomite, a sinner, a monster, the spawn of Satan. But tell me this, Gregor. Can I help the way I am? I tell you, it's a test of my faith. A test so daunting you can't even imagine. You're right. I found it interesting, but I'm not judging you. You are the way you are. That Bebenber. Bebenber was Bebenber. I'm glad you aren't like the others. Thank you for not passing judgment. I swear to God, I've never lain with another man. I've never sinned. When my father wanted me to find a wife and start a family, I told him the truth, and he had been sent here. And in a way, I was glad. My guilt had been consuming me, and I knew in the monastery I'd find peace. The Lord sees my soul, and he knows it's pure. There's something I should tell you. You're looking for... I am a novice. Why? I'm looking for a foot... Why? Because you could help me. Make a cor the other Somerset, Cornwall, York lead. Talk to him. Do you have any idea which of the no I think I might know. I wouldn't like to say something that isn't true. God forbid I should cause harm by my words. But this is something I'm sure of. What makes you say that? Yeah, I mean he hasn't laid with other men, but he, he says he's gay though. So there's, his dad sent him to this uh, monastery. Okay. See, this guy's fucking lying, man. This guy's lying. What do you desire, brother? I'll be interested to hear what you. Th 
I'm interested in Lip. No one knows much about it. It's as if he wanted. What about your dog? Be on good terms with him. He's a slimy little pedant who'll rat you out to the superiors. Once he finishes his novitiate, I imagine he'll want to climb his way up the ladder to at least Sir Cato. He's a man who enjoys ordering others around. What can you tell me about Siskin? That there's no man alive less suitable for the monastic life than him. Yeah, detective. I'm trying to figure really these fuckers out in their lives, man. <laughs> I've heard things. Siskin must have been like him. Fighting, drinking, fornicating. But then he ended up in here. Why is he in the monastery? No one knows. Maybe he's hiding from something. Or maybe he's being punished. Do you think he has a secret? Don't we all? But unlike the others, he absolutely refuses to speak about his life before the monastery. That's all I wanted to know about him. Thanks. That's all. Fucking Siskin, man. I don't want to give away that I'm searching for, for the guy before I know everything. You better. What do you desire, brother? There's something I should tell you. Something you won't be happy to hear. I'm here to find someone and, um, well, to do away with him. But listen, it's not murder. Not when it's a man like him. He's one of the brigands who burned down Neuhof. He doesn't deserve to live. What's he doing here? And who are you? They call him Pius because he used to be a priest. When he found out a lot of people were after him, he hid away here. But as you can see, he escaped suspicion. They sent me here to find him and bring him to justice. He's one of the novices. So we have one outlaw and one assassin in our midst. This place is a lot more exciting than I expected. Do you know what it is? Well, that's just it. I could be Antonius. It could be Antonius? Antonius? He's a fine fellow. No, no, it can't be him. Although... You never know what's hiding beneath the man's skin. See how hard it is. It could be anyone, and at the same time, nobody in particular. It could be him. I won't tell you more, and I'd like you to keep silent about this too. You're talking about killing in the monastery. I really should report it. Would you do that? I have a feeling you wouldn't. You're right. I'll keep it to myself. I've got problems enough of my own without involving myself in yours. And besides, I mean to be gone from here within a year, so why should I care what happens with the monastery? Thank you, Sisku. I appreciate it. He told me enough about himself. Talk to me, brother. Talk to me, brother. I'm interested in the other novices. Do you know anything about Antonius? Only that he came to the monastery voluntarily, because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. Antonius is alright. You can rely on him. He won't betray your confidence. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. The detective shit, man. <laughs> Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer. As if you didn't know. We serve God and that's the central truth of our lives. Well, that's all. Thank you for your time, brother. I might as well pass a bit of time. What you been up to, Toshi, man? How's life been, fam? How has that life been? Brother. What do you mean, neglecting? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be... Yeah, I was feeling a bit queasy. Really? This time up. I'd like to ask you...
hate these pricks. Oh no 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 no. Go away. This is novices aren't you here. Brother. What? Why you keep st stepping to me? You shouldn't have been. Don't you know your place? Don't you know where you're permitted to? Enter? What are you talking about? I've had enough of this. You'll never put me in seclusion. You dare resist? I can't go anywhere. Let me remind you, brother. You will suffer the consequences of your deed. This is bullshit, man. This is so annoying. This, but I'm switching to Kingdom Hearts, man. You're, in a, you're a monk and you can't do shit. You can't go anywhere. You gotta fucking go to the mess hall when they say. Fucking pray when they say. You gotta fucking go to the library when they say. Fucking hell, man. Ah, fuck off, man. Fuck right off. I'm switching to Kingdom Hearts, man. 